This video is part of the Commercial Building Electrical Design Series. Uh, we're still talking about lighting design. I want to go over some uh, sample plans from an actual project and look at the lighting plans uh, there and go over some of the aspects of that. So this is the same set of plans for um, the College Church um, edition that we looked at previously for the power. Uh, this time we're wanting to look at uh, the lighting plans. So if we come down here, this is the, uh, the basement area here, and you can see uh, the hatched areas are existing or either areas that don't require lighting because they're not accessible. So we just have this, uh, this one area here in the hallway going over to an elevator. And so we've got uh, two by four uh, lighting there. And if we zoom in here on some of this, let's take a little closer look. You can see we've got two by four. And so this is an acoustical tile ceiling. So it's lay-in by proffers. And then have this little mechanical uh, area back here. We've got two by two lighting in there. And so you can see that we've got the lighting type, which we'll look at the fixture schedule here in a minute that identifies what each fixture type is by this little sign here. And then we have our circuit number, which we looked at before. Um, so you can see we, we should have pretty even distribution here uh, of lighting. We also uh, have our egress lighting. Um, so we've got uh, these like this E2 fixture. This is egress lighting. So uh, the life safety code says that we have to maintain an average of one foot candle in all egress paths. And so uh, we can run the calculations on that uh, to, uh, to, to ensure that. And then also in restrooms, we have to have egress lights uh, and stairwells as well. And uh, we put them uh, also in the elevator equipment room, anywhere where they might need to work uh, with the power out or with, with the lighting uh, not available. And also have exit signs that mark the egress paths as well. You can also see we're using these um, occupancy sensors. That's what the OS, what the little box is. So, you know, a motion detector. That way, if no one's in the restroom after a certain amount of time, the lights will turn off. Whereas in the hall, you can see we have switching. And so the little three here means a three-way switch. So whenever we need two different switches, we use these three-way type switches. Uh, one at each end and then if you need an additional switch a third or fourth or fifth we use four-way switches for those and they'll have a little four by them so here's one up here you can see this four so uh, in this room we have a three-way switch here and a three-way switch here and then we have these four-way switches and so all these switches will turn the lights on you know toggle between on and off on the light fixtures So continuing on, uh, we go to the next level up. Get a bit more going on here. So here we have some can lights uh, in the little corner areas, and then the two by twos that are you know the flush uh, troffers that uh, <coughs> go in the ceiling here. Also using those in the stairwell. You can see out here on the little porch. So we've got some recessed can lights, um, and then we have some wall sconces. Uh, for the outside to to light the facade and the surrounding area uh, in this area here this is a vaulted ceiling so the line down the middle is the the peak of the vault and so we got these pendant mounted lights uh, that hang down uh, in this area they're, they're decorative and then again can lights on the porch uh, we have some more egress lighting you can see there and then we have some wall sconces to uh, to kind of add to the accent the areas in this area then we have some more pendant lights here and some can lights and can lights out on the porch so moving on here's our light fixture schedule and some details so if we come over to our light fixture schedule uh, you can see here's all the types defined so remember this f1 was a two by four so we give the manufacturer the part number um, we look at the top here this is the lamp type that's almost all led now we did utilize a one fluorescent up here on this uh, a01 light fixture but then we show what the input wattage per fixture is and this is to help uh, 
to ensure that we don't too, put too many on a, on a circuit and overload a circuit. You know what type of mounting, so this helps the contractor to know how to estimate it when he's uh, um, you know, preparing a price. <clears throat> then a brief description and then any remarks, you know, my, like uh, the color needs to be, final color of the fixture be chosen by the architect or, you know, some mounting instructions, some things of that nature. Uh, we also have some standard details, so for the can lights, you know, just how those would be mounted, uh, the two before tropper lights, uh, how those would be mounted, and then we have some exterior lighting controls. So you see here we have a photo cell and a lighting contactor, and uh, we can either have it on auto or we can just force it on or force it off. So that uh, pretty much wraps up the lighting uh, for this project at least. Uh, we'll look at a couple more examples uh, of some lighting plans and, and how this looks uh, when we implement it.